Rose Production. I was in the middle of um, washing my car and stuff and banging out some dents and he rolls up. I'm like, what are you doing, Pat? He's like, let's put on my underglow. So I'm like, bring it on. So we're gonna put on his underglow and his Miata. And basically we're just gonna show you how to do it, but we're not really gonna make a how-to video, so. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, think it's gonna be a good one. Pretty ricey, pretty ricey, but uh, you know, uh, we gotta light the sky up. We gotta light the sky up. So yeah, today we're gonna show you guys how to rice your car. This car sits so high off the ground. All right, bring it forward, boy. Yeah, what if you rode around this high all the time? Yeah, I always ride around high. I guess we can just use the lift for this, these ones over here. What do you think? Or should we stick it on here? Let me see. Well, uh, there's nowhere to mount it, so we gotta put it on the lip. Yeah, put it on the lip. Yeah. Spinny Woosh is the shit, man. It's really hot today. <laughs> oh yeah. It's at 91. See, I didn't, didn't feel like 91 when I first see, stepped out here, but the Europeans wear track suits even in the summer, so you know. Well, those are breathable material. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> those are gonna purge out all the toxins. You know what I mean? <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Oh, if you're wondering why my car doesn't have the real rear taillights in it right now, it's banging out that uh, pretty nasty dent I got back in August at OSW. I'm getting all my great tools. All right. All right, so is, what do you got here, Pat? This is a butane soldering iron, and I, it's highly recommended. Because when you have your soldering iron in a car, you're like tripping over the cord and like, you know. Why have you not told me that you've had this? How long have you had this? How long have you, how long have you had this? For quite how, some time. How long have you had this? Not quite some time. I am extending this. This connects to the battery. Very basic stuff here, boys. Move that cash out of the way. Don't this is burn that. Yeah, <laughs> I burn enough cash on a daily basis. There you do. All right. Very simple. Twist wires together. That's how you solder. You're actually quite efficient at that. Yep. <laughs> that was really fast. Heat shrink is the best. This actually heats up so much that you can just... That is sweet. Yeah, it's like... It's, Who it's makes that again? That's a Dremel? This is a Dremel. It was like 40 bucks. <laughs> That's, I'm not gonna lie, that was badass. The soldering? Yeah. Hey man, I solder every connection on my car. I don't do any of the fucking, the crimp, crimper, crimper yeah, that's whatever. The, soldering's the best way. Because, you know, if something goes wrong, then you know, it's like, 
The solder is almost stronger than the actual wire itself, so I solder every single thing, like every part of that ECU, every every aspect of the car is soldered. Pretty much. I'd highly recommend it. Plus, not only that, but I think soldering's fun. So I would recommend just buy one of these, forty bucks, and you know, I'll, I'll put a link there where you can buy. Just say Amazon link. It's it's great. It's on off. I could put it in my pocket right now, like straight up, like. We're gonna find a spot to mount this box. All right, let's go. You have a light? I'll plug it a light. Now to find where the mounting point is. Yep. So we gotta mount this box. This box. It's for the Bluetooth. We're just gonna mount it like right, right here. We'll stick it right there. When you come in clutch, just be careful with that wacky thing. All right, so we got it all wired up, and before we go and mount it, we're gonna turn it on and see if they actually come on and work. So let's check it out. All right, I'm ready when you are, Pat. Oh, the they're switch. gonna work. Oh, that's pretty dope. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Are you pleased? Yeah. Let me uh, see if I can get a one step closer to Rice Mobile. White flash. Yeah, ricing it up, no. boy. If you guys didn't know, I'm being really facetious. I don't really think it's rice. I think it's pretty sweet. I'm just having fun calling it rice. All right. Let's uh, mount them up, boys. All right. Phase two, mounting. So while Pat's over there figuring out his uh, underglow mounting locations, I'm going to drill this hole out for him because we had to take the control unit from where we mounted it with the zip tie and we're just gonna take a little bit of uh, velcro and velcro it right to the uh, body of the car. So I just gotta drill this hole out for him so he can get his connections through it because right now it's too small. And my drill bit's actually too small but it's the largest one I have so I'm gonna have to make it work. I'm not drill through any of his wires. come back through with the grinder and uh, smooth out this little opening for him so it doesn't fray his wires or cut into his wires and cause any shorts to ground or anything like that. long enough man that's gonna stick on that tape like that yeah really yep looks kind of sketchy 3m 3m always seems sketchy but it, it looks always, so sketchy but it always turns out fine dang that stuff we're sticks really it. good we're gonna zip it up here and then hopefully it's long enough i think it'll be long enough. Yo, you haven't changed your uh, the ride the ride height since we put those tires on your car, dude. Your tire wear is not bad for how much like negative camber you have. I leave this thing in the garage. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You don't drive it that much anymore. All right, so we're trying to figure out where we're gonna route everything before we go and zip tie it all up and make it nice because it's just the way to do it. Because I said so. Because I said so. I'm gonna take this loom, get that light out of my face, no kidding. I'm gonna take this loom and I'm gonna put it around Pat's wire here so it doesn't, like I was explaining up there, it doesn't get chafed along this metal edge because that can cause some issues and we don't want that. You have the rest mounted, right? I mean, I gotta do the one on the left. Oh. 
I was about to say the final piece. Yeah, it's getting there. So we're almost done. We got everything wired up, hooked up, it's all working correctly. So I'm just mounting these little this little loom I got to these little holes I just made so this wire doesn't flop around and hit his wheel. Cause that would not be very good. Straight up, Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Bluetooth operated. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I like that sea blue. Oh yeah, I do. Damn, that's cleaner than I thought. Yeah. We have successfully completed how to rice box your Miata. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We got the underglow um, installed and it looks really good. So far, I am Really, really impressed with this kit. I mean, I've seen some and they're just like horrible, but this one looks really good. My friend Kyle, he has it on his um, Miata also. Yeah, but it looks really good. You can go through and change it to pretty much any color you want. Yeah, we're pretty hungry right now, but I feel like every time like me or any of my friends go to work on our car, we'll just start working on it like all day and we'll forget to eat. I think that's why a bunch of drifters are like, kinda a little above average to tall height and just super slim. <laughs> Never eating. We were talking about that uh, with my friends in, in the chat a couple days ago. I was laughing. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Remember to comment and subscribe. Thank you guys, I shall see you next time. Peace. Peace.